Hello, welcome back to Shou Shou Chinese, Shou Shou Zhongwen. I'm Shou. Today we're going to talk about how to use le. We all know that le is one of the Chinese characters that are super easy to write, but le is also one of the hardest Chinese word or particle. In this video, I will tell you all the three usages of le, but most importantly, I will tell you how to think in Chinese. I wish this video can give you an aha moment. And after you finally know how to use le in my next video, I will tell you where exactly in the sentence should you put le right after the verb or at the end of the sentence. In my next video, I will give you all the answers. So don't forget to like this video to make more people see it and also subscribe my channel so that you won't miss out my next video. All right, without further ado, let's get it started. Le has three usages. In this video, I arranged them from the easiest one to the hardest one. If you have learned some of them, you can check the description below and jump to the usage that you want to know. I say this is the easiest one because you don't even have to think about the grammar. All you need to do is to memorize le as one part of the set phrase. For example, tai, adjective, le. You don't have to think what the le is. You just remember tai, le, le, it's a word, which means extremely or too. For example, tai hao le. Great. Tai hao le. Tai ke ai le. So cute. Tai ke ai le. Another similar phrase is adjective, si le. You don't have to worry about the literal meaning of 死, to die. Something something 死了 also means to something, so something. For example, 今天热死了 Today is so hot. 今天热死了 Today is so hot that I could die. Or 困死了 困死了 I'm too sleepy. I'm so sleepy. There are some other set phrases with la. I will put them in the description below. I will start this one with some examples. 我父母不工作 My parents don't work. For some reason, they just don't have to work. Maybe they make a living by renting out apartments or they have some financial support from the government or from me. They just don't have to work. But this sentence, 我父母不工作了 You can see the le at the end of the sentence indicates that the situation now, my parents don't work, is different from what it was before. My parents used to work, but now they don't work anymore. So the translation of le at the end could be any more, at least in this situation. Another example. 我不爱你 I don't love you. I'm sorry you're such a nice guy, but I don't feel the same way as you. 我不爱你 我不爱你了 I know we've been dating for years, but my feeling changed. Sorry. 我不爱你了 can't tell which one is more sad. 你很胖 You are fat. I know it sounds so rude in English context, but you may have heard that Chinese people are sometimes too straightforward. We will directly tell our close friend, 你很胖 You're so fat, you should stop eating. I mean, it is still impolite, but not as impolite as in Western culture. 你胖了 It indicates a change. It's more like you've gained some weight. Maybe this person is like 80 pounds before, but now they are 90 pounds, still not fat at all. You can say 你胖了 You're a little bit fatter than before. The la at the end indicates the change, the difference between the situation now and the situation before. And the last example is a really useful phrase. 我知道了 I see or now I know it versus 我知道 I know, I always know 
How many of you jumped directly to here? I guess this one is the most confusing one. I recently have a student who speak brilliant Chinese. He has learned Chinese for 10 years and he passed HSK 6 five years ago. And he told me that he still don't know how to use la. Why is it so difficult? I guess the reason for la being so complicated is it shows completely different concept from English. You have to reinstall your original English brain and break all the old English ideas and accept the brand new ideas in Chinese. You may have seen it in many textbooks or Chinese learning materials that la is not past tense. La is more like an indicator for something that is completed. We use la after completed action. I understand when you heard that la indicates the completion of an action. You were like, uh, okay, I have heard it somewhere, but aren't all the past actions completed? What is the difference between past tense? It still sounds confusing to me. Don't worry. Let me tell you this very important idea. This idea is, if you like this video, you have to give me a thumbs up. Okay, sorry, just kidding. But I was super excited when I found this idea or the thought of theory that I'm going to tell you very soon. And I bet you will feel it is awesome as I did. In English, you have past, present, and future tense. And you tell whether it's in the past, present, or in the future from the respective of the present moment. I mean, for example, I was born in 1988. Ten years ago, I had a horse. I will be a doctor. I am eating. Those are things that happened in the past or will happen in the future or is happening now but all of them are viewed in relation to the present. However, in Chinese, we use more time words than English, and this have made it easier for us to decide from the point in time that the context gives to us. In other words, if the sentence refers to 1988, we need to take the time machine and go back to the year 1988. And then we can judge in 1988 whether the action was completed or was in progress or was going to happen. If the sentence refers to 10 years in the future, we also have to take the time machine to go to the future and then we can make the second judgment. That is to say, in a Chinese sentence without any words indicating the past or the future, then normally if an action happened in the past, it is a completed action for now. In this case, like without any words indicating the past or the future, you can think la is past tense, but only in this case. Here's an example. 我买了 三个苹果. I bought three apples. These three apples are with me right now. I already completed this action. 他给了我一本书. 他给了我一本书. He gave me a book. Again, this book is with me right now. The action that he gave it to me is already completed. If there are some words showing a point of time in the past, then, as I said before, we need to take this time machine to go back to that point in time in order to decide the main action was completed or was in progress. I will start from some examples with English sentences. You can judge with me whether should we use la. For example, I got married when I was 20. I was 20. It's a point of time in the past. So we have to go back to when I was 20. In that time, when I was 20, I was already married. So I want to emphasize the completion of the wedding, of the action of getting married. In that case, you have to add la. 我二十岁就结婚了。我二十岁就结婚了。Here, 就 has indication that something happens early. 10 years ago, I had a dog. Its name was Coco. Here is a time in the past. So we have to go back to 10 years ago. Back to 10 years ago, I was in the state of having a dog. During that 
couple of years, the action was not completed. That's why we don't need to use le in this case. 十年以前,我有一只狗,它叫Coco. Likewise, if the sentence has a point of time in the future, we need to go to the future to make the second judgment. After I graduate, I will go to your city. It doesn't directly give us a time word, but the action that I will go to another city will happen after I graduated. Let's say I will graduate on June of 2025, and I will go to another city October 2025. So let's take the time machine, go to October 2025. My God, Donald Trump is still the president of USA. But that time, October 2025, have I already graduated? Yes, I've already graduated four months ago from that point of time. So will you use la? Yes, you have to use la. You say 我毕业了就去你的城市. 我毕业了就去你的城市. One last thing you need to pay attention to is L not only indicates the completion of an action, you also want to emphasize the completion of it. Let's say you have a long-distance relationship and you are on the phone with your girlfriend. She asks you, what did you do today? So you told her, well, nothing much. I went to work out and I took a shower and then I did some laundry. 我去运动了。我洗了澡。我洗了衣服. All the actions are finished or completed. It's like you're taking the to-do list and marking them as completed. But let's say this time when she asks you what did you do today, instead of telling your girlfriend how many things you did today, you told her, well, uh, today I went to a workout and then I bumped into my ex in the gym. 今天我去运动。在健身房碰到了我的前女友 Although it is still the action that you have done today, now it is not to emphasize here. Whether you've completed your workout routine is not important anymore. Instead, the emphasis of this sentence is that you encountered someone today, and the someone is your ex-girlfriend. That's why we drop la after yun dong and we add la after peng dao running to. 今天我去运动,在健身房碰到了我的前女友. Okay, I think we need a little bit recap. La has three usages. I listed them below. And number three, I will give you more examples. The first three sentences give us some point in time of the past. For example, the first one, 去年我认识了一个中国朋友. I met a Chinese friend last year. I use le after 认识 because I want to emphasize that I already met this Chinese friend. Number two, 小时候我很想当医生. I really wanted to be a doctor when I was little. Here, you don't say la because for the little you, to be a doctor was only a dream. It was not something that is completed. Number three, 我读大学的时候常常去酒吧. I went to bars a lot when I was in the university. I went to bars it was not a completed action. Instead, it was a regular action. Maybe I went to bars every week, every weekend. That's why we don't say la even it was in the past. Likewise, if the context contains some words that shows the future, we need to go to the future and make a second judgment. Let's see the fourth sentence here. 明天我吃了饭就去你家。I will go to your house when I finish my food tomorrow. 
even it will happen tomorrow. You go to your friend's house is an action that will happen after the completion of eating. Next sentence: 你长大了想做什么 What do you want to do when you grow up? We are talking about your future dream. When you completed the process of growing up, what do you want to do? Last sentence: 明年如果我赚了钱，我就去旅行。I will go travel if I've made some money next year. We are talking about the traveling plan after your making money plan is completed. That's why we need a la in the sentence. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, subscribe right now and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you won't miss out any of my future videos. And I want to ask you to like my video again because I think you already did. I'm Shuo from Shuo Shuo Chinese. I will see you in my next video. 再见。